Hello everyone, today I'm going to be looking at the Henry Pro Kit. This is an optional accessory kit that fits all types of Henry, Hetty, Harry and James vacuum cleaners. I bought this particular Henry Pro kit from Argos but you may be able to find it in other stores and online. So let's see what we get in the box. First of all, there's some instructions telling us what's included. So we get a full-sized aero brush, a smaller aero brush, the aero brush 140, and a hard floor tool. And on the other side of this, we've got a maintenance guide to show you how to clean out the aero brushes and the hard floor tool. And if you purchase this, when you buy a Henry vacuum, a Henry or Hetty or any of the other pneumatic cleaners, you can register it and get an extra free extended warranty. Okay, let's have a look at the tools in more detail. So first out, we've got the dedicated hard floor tool. Now, of course, the Henry and Hetty and James cleaners, etc., do come with a carpet and hard floor nozzle that you can use on both carpets and hard floors. But this tool is a dedicated hard floor tool. It's got quite soft brushes and two little wheels. So this is ideal for cleaning more delicate floor coverings, uh, lino, vinyl, uh, floorboards, etc., parquet floors. You've also got the little parking bracket on the back of this one, so it will actually park on the back of your pneumatic cleaner, providing you've got one of the machines that have the parking dock at the back. Older models won't have that, but most new models do have that feature. So there we go, that's the floor brush. Now we have a compact, now this is a completely new, it's not a new design, I've seen this design before in other vacuum cleaners, but it is new as far as I know to pneumatic. It's basically a more compact turbo brush. You can use this on your upholstery, you can use it in the car, you can use it on your stairs and on your pet bedding. So basically it's just a smaller version of the full size turbo nozzle included in this kit. It's also a little bit smaller if you've got a Harry for example that comes with a turbo brush but it is a little bit bigger than this. So um, really you've got the best of both worlds. You can use the full size turbo brush on your carpets and you've got the smaller one for the smaller areas and for above floor it should open up. There's a little switch here so it partly opens up in case you need to clean it out. This is the fan here that turns, so it's operated by suction this, so as the machine switches on, the suction rotates the turbine and in turn, of course, rotates the brush. So it's a, a little belt driven design here. You've got the belt, so you've got partial access to that if you need to unblock it. And finally, out of the box, we've got the full size one. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed with Pneumatic because on the outside of the box, they do illustrate a new turbo nozzle. Now, this is a standard one that comes supplied with cleaners like the Henry Extra. Although this is in black, I believe the Henry Extra one used to come in red. So basically, it's the old style turbo brush and apparently Pneumatic aren't launching the new one for several months at the time of making this video. So if you want one of the new ones, you may have to wait a while, or if you do purchase this from a shop, you can look in the box. You may be lucky, you might have one of the new turbo heads. It's still a good head, and you know if you want something to clean pet hairs off carpets, it will still perform well. But uh, for me, I wanted to see how the new one performed compared to this one. So basically, it is the same sort of nozzle you get supplied with some Henry cleaners. But if yours doesn't have a turbo brush, if you've just got the regular carpet and floor nozzle, and especially if you've got pets, I would advise getting one of these. It makes picking up pet hair a lot quicker and easier. So you've got the rotating brush again. It's powered by the suction from the cleaner. There's a little access port here. I just have to try and open it. It's a bit stiff. There we are. And you can see that's the fan that rotates with the suction. So you have to be careful. You, this won't pick up big clumps of dirt from your carpets because they can clog up this fine turbine. And don't pick up any hard or sharp objects either because you could damage this. But for regular carpet cleaning and especially for pet hair removal, they're normally pretty good.
This is Daisy and she's provided me with the hair for the first demonstration. I've just groomed her on this rug and I'm going to see how well the full-sized aero brush deals with all the mess. So Daisy, I'm going to have to move you out of the way and we'll get to work. The Henry I'm using for this demo is my John Lewis exclusive Henry Plus. I'm going to pass the aero brush forward and back through Daisy's hair to see how effective it is at removing it. Well, that's not done bad on this extreme test. There is a little bit left there. Well, I've just made two passes. I'll just quickly clean up the rest of the dirt and then we'll see how effective the small turbo nozzle is. You can attach the AeroBrush 140 to the extension wand, onto the curved handle, and also directly to the hose using the adapter supplied with your cleaner. To demonstrate the small AeroBrush, I've put some golden retriever hair on this cushion, and I'm using it connected directly to the hose. Okay, let's give it a go. It is quite noisy, as you can hear, but it has made an effective job of it. Let's have a quick look, actually. Yes, look. Underneath, we can see where a lot of the hair is actually wrapped around the brush. Obviously, I put down a lot of hair to pick up in one go. So under normal use, your turbo brush won't get this dirty this quickly. But bear in mind, you will need to keep the brushes clean. So from time to time, you'll need to check the brush to remove any hairs or threads and fibers that may have wrapped around it. I'm in my kitchen now and I've put down some flour, rolled oats and loose leaf tea onto my kitchen floor. So let's see how well the pneumatic hard floor tool copes with all this mess. Again, I'll go forward and back through the middle. even to go back that's done just on the forward pass there was a bit of snow plowing but not very much to be honest because a lot of the uh, larger debris the rolled oats actually went through the gaps in the front brush it's a bit mucky but I'm surprised it did most of it in one forward pass let's clean up the rest of this though because I can't leave a mess <laughs> I'm now going to see how effective the full-sized aero brush is at removing general dirt from a short pile carpet. brush you can tell it slows down 
when it's put against the carpet and it might slow down even further when used on a longer pile carpet but in my experience turbo brushes are better for short pile carpet short to medium pile but that you can see the color of the carpet now it's pretty good at removing general dirt so excellent on pet tear but for general dirt which is a combination of dust i've got bits of paper there is some pet hair in here there's couscous there's rice rolled oats all sorts of debris from previous demonstrations and it's managed to pick everything up more or less in two sweeps I do recommend the Henry Pro kit whether you've just bought a brand new Henry or have an older model you want to breathe some new life into. They're useful attachments to have especially if you have pets because both the Aero brush, the full sized Aero brush and the new 140 sized Aero brush are very good at removing pet hair. They do add to the noise level of the machine and you will have to maintain them to make sure they keep cleaning efficiently by cleaning the brush from time to time but all in all they are very useful attachments to have even the hard floor nozzle I was quite surprised how well that coped on my hard floor especially the fact that it didn't really snow plow as much as many other nozzles I've used on my hard floors so if you've got a Henry a James a Hetty a Basil a Harry a Wendy if you're lucky enough to have a Wendy they should fit they for standard 32 millimeter sized tubes so even if you don't have a Henry you might find that this tool set will fit your existing vacuum cleaner thanks for watching please if you have any questions ask them below and I'll see you soon bye for now